Phineas Gage, the man who survived a brain injury, 1848. It happened in an instant, a flash of iron, a burst of blood, and the shattering of a man's mind. Phineas Gage was a foreman on the Vermont Railroad, a man of order and grit, respected by his crew and admired for his calm authority. On a hot September afternoon in 1848, he tamped blasting powder into a hole with a long iron rod, routine work, until a spark ignited the charge. The rod, over three feet long and more than an inch thick, shot upward like a javelin of fate. It entered Gage's left cheek, tore through his skull, and exited the top of his head, landing yards away, slick with blood and brain. He didn't die. He didn't even lose consciousness. He stood up, spoke, and walked away, his body intact but something else, gone. At first it seemed miraculous, a man pierced through the brain who could still speak, move, breathe. But as the weeks passed, the miracle curdled into something darker. Gage was no longer Gage. The man who had been diligent, polite, and measured became erratic, vulgar, and impulsive. He cursed without provocation. He abandoned plans. He laughed at funerals. His friends said he was no longer himself. The iron had not just torn flesh, it had severed the invisible threads of personality. Doctors were baffled, the soul they believed was indivisible. But here was proof that identity could be wounded, fractured, rearranged. Gage became a living experiment, a grotesque case study in the emerging field of neuroscience. His skull was preserved, his story dissected, he was paraded before scientists like a specimen, proof that the mind was not sacred, but mechanical. He wandered for years, a ghost in his own skin. He worked briefly as a stagecoach driver in Chile, then returned to the U.S., his health failing. He died at 36, his brain scarred, his legacy immortal. Today his skull and the iron rod that changed him forever sit in a museum at Harvard, silent relics of a man split in two. Phineas Gage didn't just survive a horrific injury, he exposed a truth we still struggle to face, that the self is fragile, that personality is tissue deep, and that a single moment, a single inch of iron, can unravel everything we think we are. He was the man who lived, but he was also the man who vanished.